Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman goes viral for saying, I love being gang banged. I love being handled by several men. I am a goddess. <laughs> no more wasting time. Let's get it. Yes, I like being ran. Yes, I like gang bangs. I like being manhandled by several different men at once. If you mm. want to call it being ran, you can call it whatever you want. I'm sexually liberated <laughs> and I'm a like goddess it. and I deserve to have hands all over my body. <laughs> right. I, like I deserve to be worshipped. Like, why not? I deserve that attention. For sure. All right. So you, so you, so you. All right. So you guys heard it for yourself. I wasn't making it up. She says, I love being gang banged. I love several men handling me at the same time. This is crazy. Goes on to say, and, and here, this is why this is surprising, is that this is some regular chick who you would see in the streets and think like, oh, okay, there it goes. Just a regular person. But she proudly thinks all this is something to get online, brag about, and in her words, is an act of worship because she believes she's a goddess who deserves this. Here's why this specific video was viral. It was viral because there was an obvious divide between people's reactions. There were people who heard this and were like, what? Put that coffee down. They were like, that is enough coffee for you, ma'am. Then there was another group of people, which may not come as a surprise to you, who actually were supportive of this, were encouraging this. And these people believe more women should embrace this type of mentality. And um, she defined her behavior as being sexually liberated. Okay, it's not the first time we've heard this type of talk. But as always, man, the internet reacted. And of course, we're going to see what the people had to say. First comment here reads, Jesus, take the wheel and crash the car. <laughs> oh, man. This next comment asked, are you prepared for Jehovah's return? Side eye and crying emoji. She's like, man, this chick needs Jesus. Next, this guy commented, I done seen it all with the laughing emoji. Here's where things start to get a little bit interesting with the comments. First, we have this chick who says, I mean, pop your shit, sis, but a goddess understands her feminine energy is not for everyone to have peace of. Yeah, the truth is when you think of a valuable woman, you don't think of a woman who's out here getting her cheeks clapped, right? Leno types of dudes bust her cheeks, getting trains ran on her, being handled by multiple men. Usually that doesn't equate value. And listen, this principle is the same literally everywhere. The more owners an item, a car, has had, the less valuable it is. More use, more miles usually means less value. And when men think of valuable women, they're not thinking of a woman who's out here getting gangbanged. I mean, this shit's crazy. Like my coffee, like I like my women. So the next comment here comes from a woman and she disagrees with everybody and supports the chick in the video and says, when a man lays with several women, at once, it's not looked down upon the same way as a woman. A man can be looked at like he's getting king treatment. So make sure men get the same energy. I personally don't care what no grown woman or man is doing with their body, as long as she's not being forced, abused, or held against her will. That's between her and God. With the 100 emoji, she goes on to say, if it's not concerning me and my tribe, I'm Gucci with the peace sign. And that comment got over 400 likes. Listen, there are a growing multitude of women today, modern women, who think just like this, who support this type of behavior and think I can sleep with whoever I want as many times as I want with different men. And it shouldn't affect how people perceive me. I should still be looked at as value to most men. And the fact that there's a growing number of women who actually agree with this chick should be a little bit concerning because that's just not the way life works. Most of you women would turn into single mothers. We encourage your daughters to do the same thing. And the cycle continues and the chaos continues as well. So we've got a guy who actually responded back to that chick who says, hey, women should be allowed to sleep around with as many men as possible and be praised for it the same way a man who exercise options can be praised for it. And a guy responded back to that chick and says, so you're going to buy a Honda Civic with 200K miles on it for $30,000? No, of course you're not, right? She over here getting nutted in slash on by endless dirty niggas and wants to be treated like a goddess? Yeah, yeah. All right, 32 likes. 32 likes. This man's speaking facts and got 32 likes. <laughs> it's crazy.
crazy world we're living, man. So another woman added to this conversation and said, the double standards are crazy. Bunch of exclamation marks. She says, it's not for me personally. They'll all say that, right? They'll all say, I wouldn't do this. Ah, if you're on here defending this shit, we know you've dabbled. You've dabbled in the streets. Most modern women have, but but dabbled like, like this. Goes on to say, it's not for me personally, but I'm not judging her at all. These women are sleeping with other women, hoping to keep their man to themselves. And people have normalized that. No, no, no. People haven't normalized women sharing men. Women have normalized women sharing men. It's the women who are willing to share a man. Men, in most cases, will complain and say, hell no, that's not for me, like they're doing underneath this post. She goes on to say, I can't relate to any of it, so I'm going to drink my water. Nah, you gonna drink tea. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> Yet another gentleman tried to shed some light and bring some sense to the conversation, responding to that chick and says, we're not the same, sweetheart. The more women I have, the more valuable I become. The more men you have, the less valuable you are. I didn't make the rules, I just play the game. And women may say, well, why is a woman disrespected for having multitudes of men run through her and beat it from the back? Well, because first, it's not an accomplishment that takes um, skill and work. If you're a woman right now, you can go stand in front of any Walmart and men will agree to sleep with you. Society does not congratulate people for doing things that are easy, right? No one is going out here to Pookie and Ray Ray and saying, you guys are great. You guys have kids everywhere. What an accomplishment. How did you do it? <laughs> right? But they're more likely to praise a single mother who was somehow able to take care of those kids without a man because it's more difficult to give birth. Easier to nut in somebody. I, you get the point I'm trying to make. It's not me glorifying single mothers, by the way. You need a man in the household and stop devaluing that masculine energy, but just to prove my point here in the situation. Next comment here reads, not even Batman could beat this information out of me. 3K likes, yeah, there are other women who agree with this chick and they're there like, you actually said it? <laughs> you got on here and actually said what we we're all thinking? And I think it's becoming more popularized, right? As more women feel more comfortable getting on platforms and sharing um, than ever. I mean, I endless amount of content of women in particular who have no problem sharing this stuff. And I wonder if they think long term and think like one day I may wish that video didn't make it on the coffee pot or um, the spiritual word where I actually saw this video. Next comment here reads, her kids, her daughters, especially her sons, will see this one day. Exactly. I wonder how happy and proud she will be to be this chick at that time in her life. Shaking my head. Next, another woman here says, I like her with shoulder shrug. She's honest. Can't be mad at it. LOL. So that's all it takes is just like someone being honest and all of a sudden you respect it. You so see, guys, women love honesty and respect honesty. It's like, oh, she's honest. When it supports their delusional perspectives on relationships and dating. If you speak honestly about the consequences of their decisions, now they're not over there praising you for your honesty. They're saying, why are you so negative? Right? Stop, stop bringing women down. And the truth is, it's just the truth. Are you going to respect that? Next woman here says, goddess ain't what they call you, sis. Mm, yeah, they call you 304. She goes on to say, when did we start exchanging the word liberation with being used? I don't know. You tell me, Lexi. She's deceived. I know her OBGYN bill is high. Them co-pays is going to add up, sis. 3K plus likes. Another gentleman here says her voice literally cracked in the midst of saying sexual liberation. You're traumatized. But hey, yeah. Who, who would this chick be um, 20 years from now? Most likely very, very damaged. Another guy here says there's just a part of me that still thinks about that I represent something bigger than myself, my family, parents, son, etc. Yeah, that's something um, a lot of people today don't really think about. You're a representation of more than just you. It's not all about you. How is what you're doing right now going to impact your kids? How does it reflect on your family? I'm not saying live for people's expectations, but to a degree, you have to understand that everything you do inevitably affects the people who you're responsible for, especially your children. Our final comment here reads, our entire generation, culture, etc., is screwed. LOL, laugh out loud, dot, dot, dot. We've completely went away from all morals and values. 
We've turned our back on the Bible and the word of our ancestors, and we call it being liberated and free. Find you a good one, fellas, and duck off forever if you're lucky. If you're lucky for sure. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck finding a woman today who, um, and they exist. They do exist, but, 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 but like needle in a haystack, man. So many of these chicks, if you're out here dating and pursuing relationships are just completely backwards. You show a woman this video and she says, babe, like she can do whatever she wants. There's nothing wrong with that. Run fast, not slow, dude. As always, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate y'all for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.